Yeah, John, one thing that you said that that I want to address is, you know, and I think it's incredibly important is that you've dealt with trauma, right? I mean, mm -hmm. you called it PTSD from the television experience, maybe from some of the relationships. And, you know, as a behavioral expert, behavioral health expert, we certainly know that trauma doesn't just go away. It's something that kind of keeps you hyper vigilant and hyper aware and kind of nervous and sort of protecting yourself from that ever happening again. Sometimes people can be really guarded, right? And it's hard to open up when you've had trauma of some kind. So I'm curious if you ever, if you ever like got involved in psychotherapy or therapy with a counselor to deal with any of that trauma. I've been in, I've been in uh, therapy since about 2007. I've gone through different things, how TV's affected my life um, and weighed through that um, trauma therapy um, and had to deal with that. I still have th tons of trauma. Even when I go to a new geographical location, I'm like, how are these people going to, how's this situation going to affect me? But I kind of just approach it little like baby steps. And, you know, I, I don't know how it's going to go. And I have that like the little guarded emotion. And I just kind of throw myself in there and I'm just the same on me. All right, Susan, back to you. Can you share some dating advice with John? The first thing I would do is I would ask you to do something I call duty dating. When you decide you're ready to date, I'd like you to date against type. You have a type of woman you're automatically um, attracted to. So the minute you feel that click, that automatic, that, oh, that draw, that chemistry, that delicious feeling, pause pause because that's probably your default kicking in. I would ask you to be very conscious. And when I say duty dating, it's like data collection, dating types of women you'd never consider before, but all that have the qualities that you'd like to experience in a relationship, because that will expose you and get you expanded to a wider version of what may be possible. We may have in the process of eliminating what we don't want, narrowed what is possible. So to offset that, I'd suggest that you broaden your scope and do it for fun. Not necessarily in the beginning uh, phases of dating, just do it to explore how you feel about yourself when you are with somebody else. Just how do I feel? Do I feel safe? Do I feel comfortable? Do I feel like I can just be John today? 